Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. So I don't usually uh, insert video of me editing, but I need to just make a disclaimer at the beginning of this video that it's not like Cheeto stuff on my one finger in this whole freaking video. Uh, I somehow got self tanner. Just didn't wash that off somehow. I don't know. Just letting you know. Now back to the video. And today I have a slightly overdue video because last month got away from me and I was not able to film this. So I actually have my May and June empties to share with you guys today. I have been trying to track the value of everything that I'm emptying out this year. And I have like an unofficial goal of trying to get $3,000 worth of empties, which we're at the halfway mark. So you'll see at, this end of, at the end of this video if we are on track to that number or not. And I have been making sure to consciously save all of the makeup empties so at the end of the year I will have one big video showing all the makeup I was able to finish in the year 2021. I would say that this month I definitely was the most successful finishing hair care and skincare products. Not so much the makeup category. Uh, you'll see in a little bit but if you guys are interested in seeing everything I finished up and if there are products I liked, didn't like, if I'd buy them again, if I wouldn't buy them again, all of that stuff, then stay tuned. Also, if you are wondering about anything I'm wearing in this video, everything will be linked in the description box down below along with all the products I talk about in today's video. If they are links that are affiliated, they will be marked with an asterisk, meaning that if you do click on them and happen to buy a product through that link, I would make a very, very tiny commission off that link. I do thank you guys in advance for using my affiliate links. And yeah, let's just get into this month's empties video. Let's go. Okay, so the first category I will be addressing is makeup. I, you'll see, like one thing I'm pretty excited about finishing, but I'm going to start with two mascaras I have here. This first one is like a little travel size. I think I got this from Ulta for free. This is the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. I did uh, come out that this size retails for about $12, which is wild to me. This is a, in my opinion, a very bad mascara. I found that it really didn't do anything at all, and I just... Listen, I just was not a super fan. I don't know. I just, <laughs> it just wasn't for me. I am very, very particular when it comes to mascaras. And this did not even like come close to like an okay to me. This was just like flat out a really bad mascara. And I can show you what the wand looks like. It has a, a rubber bristled wand, but it just, it didn't do anything at all for my lashes. So this was just a really big no for me. A mascara I just finished that I really, really like. I got them really overly hyped. <laughs> I shouldn't even say overly hyped because it is really good. The Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High. I bought the waterproof and I finished it. I use this every day and like basically scraped it clean, which I can't say I do too often. I think I started this, I forget when I started it. It was either like February or March and it's definitely used up because I used the heck out of it. This mascara retails for $11.49. You can usually find Maybelline on sale. I did repurchase, but I repurchased the non-waterproof. Typically, I really only like either a tubing mascara or a waterproof mascara because just I can't deal with the mess. But I've heard people say they like the regular better than the waterproof. So I'm trusting everyone and I ordered the regular. So that is a spoiler for a video coming. But yeah, I am sad it's done. Like I really enjoyed it. I finished a mini powder that I've been trying to unofficially pan for so long now. This is from IT Cosmetics and this is their Bye Bye Pores Illumination Poreless Finish Airbrush Pressed Powder. This I think I got as a free sample from Ulta, but it honestly was a really decent sized pan. I feel like it was like almost the size of like a more traditional blush, like a, like a blush pan. I don't know. There was a lot of product in here. That is for sure. I came up with this amount retailed for about $7.74. It was okay. Uh, it didn't make me want to go out and buy the full size of it. It was cool to try, but overall, I just felt very neutral about the product. And I have tons of powders in my collection right now that are gathering dust that need to have my attention rather than me going and buying this. Also, I've been trying this new coffee drink. Let's see. It's a Starbucks drink. I got it from Amazon. It's vanilla zero sugar black coffee. It's not bad, but it's a little sweeter than I prefer because like I am a black coffee drinker, but I like like a flavor to my black coffee, but it's a little sweeter than I like. So I like it, but it's just, it's not like an, a favorite, but I feel like if you were someone who liked the sweet coffee without sugar, that this would be a really good option. Okay, 
Next is something else I've already purchased, repurchased, I should say. This is from Maybelline, and this is their Brow Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. I have this in the shade, I think, Deep Brown. It's literally worn off because I've worn... I literally got this the same time I got the Maybelline mascara, <laughs> and I used the heck out of it. This retails for $7.99, and I cannot emphasize enough that this is my all-time favorite brow pencil. Like, I absolutely love it. I did not buy one. I bought two. Because when this ran out, I was like, oh, no! So like, it's funny that I talk about this because like today with my mascara, I like did two mascaras together to try to get the look I like. And even today with my brow pencils, I had to use two brow pencils to like kind of mix and match to get a color that worked for me. So I just, I really miss this product. And I am so glad that I stocked back up on it because it is my all time favorite. And it's $8 and usually you can get Maybelline on sale. Okay, the last makeup empty I'm so excited about because I said I wanted to work through my mini lip products in 2021 and this is now my second empty. This is from Urban Decay and this is their Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss and I have this in the shade Naked. I got this as a free sample from Ulta too long ago. It smells very, very minty. It's a very, very minty smelling lip gloss but it doesn't actually like do like, I didn't, it didn't do like how a buxom you can feel like a little tingle. I just feel like it had the minty scent to like have like a thought of it being plumping, but I actually really liked this lip gloss. This size retails for $2.61. So I feel like I definitely got at least $3. I mean, I've been using this so much lately and I just felt never ever, it felt never ending. I really like it, but I have so many lip glosses that I just, I can't, I can't justify going out and buying this Urban Decay lip gloss even though I liked it so much because I know how long it took me to use up this tiny size that I would never use the full size of the Urban Decay. And I'm sad that it's done, but like I'm also really happy that it's done. So I did it. That's two mini lip glosses this year. Is it great to be celebrating that halfway through the year that I've only finished two minis? Probably not, but I did it. Okay, the last makeup empty. Did I say the last one was the last one? Because this is really the last one whatever. This I got for free from Influencer, and this is from Joa and this is their selfie ready setting spray and this is their dewy version. I actually had trouble finding this one online. I saw that the matte version retails for $7.99 which probably makes sense. It is a drugstore brand. I like Joa. I think they have really nice products and I liked this but it wasn't really anything unique I guess in my collection. Like I have so many dewy setting sprays like I didn't feel like this was something I now need to go out and repurchase like it was cool to try it and I don't have any issues with it at all like I feel like it performs as it should but I just it's not a product I need right now so those were the makeup empties the total value of all those products for this month came to $49.82 bringing my annual makeup empty total to $360.96 the next category on my spreadsheet is lip balms. And I actually finished one this month. I haven't actually finished a lip balm since my January, February update, but I do have a product I wanna talk about in this video. It's not an empty, but I'll explain in a second. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I have this in the berry scent. I must have bought this towards the end of 2019. And this used to sit at my desk at work. And then a pandemic happened and it continued to sit on my desk at work. And if you're not familiar, I did wind up leaving my job and I didn't go back into the, to the office to clean out my stuff until literally the end of May. So this sat on my desk at work for over a year. So I don't wanna open it. I'm not planning on using it. I would like to tell you overall, I didn't like it. I actually found this very uncomfortable. I found it very sticky tacky and I was very upset because of how much I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So this was just like a big flop for me and I just wanted to be able to review it here <laughs> for you guys but this is not being counted in my spreadsheet I just wanted to say before I throw it out that I do not like this now the lip balm I did finish is very bittersweet it's from Becca and it's their plumping lip balm uh this is their hydrolite balm I have this in the shade I have this in the shade mist you can see it was like a blue it had like a very It's not minty. It had a very specific uh, scent that I cannot identify. Uh, it was very thin, so it was very easy to put on. It wasn't something that I would consider overly moisturizing. For me, I would use this as like in the mornings when I was getting ready. 
it was like a really easy like throw it on while I'm doing my makeup and then like my lips would fully absorb by the time it was due to by the time it was time to do my lip product so it's not like it was like a long time hydrator it was like a really quick hydrator if that makes sense I've considered buying it on sale but it's not worth it it's not my favorite Becca product I really do like it but the full size retails for $19 and they're only on sale for like $10 right now and I think I got this one originally for $10 but it just I'm okay being done with the lip balm I have tons of other Becca products I can enjoy for a very long time so and I also have way too many unopened lip balms so I'm not buying a new one but I really did enjoy it my May June lip balm total is $19 bringing my annual total empties to $41 lip balms are unusually expensive the next category on my list is skincare and this is a big category because I finished a lot of mini products okay this first product I did receive in PR in a boxy charm and this is from Elemis and this is their dynamic resurfacing facial pads these reminded me a lot of the uh, first aid beauty facial radiance pads these were okay honestly it's not a product I feel like I need in my skincare routine like I feel like a lot of the times I was forgetting I had these it was nice that this came with 60 pads so I don't feel like I flew flew through it like I do with some other like products that are similar this does retail for $59 so I'm good I don't need that yeah it was just okay I don't really have anything from Elemis that I absolutely love so this didn't make it on the love list next is a product that I have gone through now two I think of these and this is the ordinary organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil this retails for nine dollars and eighty cents and I do really like this I think by the time I got to the bottom of it though it had gone bad because it was it was a little bit of a different color so I think I needed to use it faster than I did I do really like this I do have a facial oil I'm using currently so I'm not planning on repurchasing this immediately but when I do run out of facial oil this is what I would repurchase because it's not only affordable but it is very very nourishing and my skin just really enjoys it I have a little mini here that I use up this is the Lancome advanced genifique youth activating concentrate I did come out that this tiny size retails for about $21.06 this little thing here's what I'll say about it it felt like luxury skincare like when you put it on it feels like this like really like it's satisfying it's satisfying to use but I have no idea if it actually did a dang thing it just felt really nice to you so it was more of an experience than like something actually happening to my skin that's honestly what I felt like but again I only had 0.27 fluid ounces of it to use all right I have another product here that's a full size I think this one I chose for an ipsy in for one of my ipsies like one of my like choice options and this is the murad renewing eye cream this retails for 82 dollars first of all if i had to rank all the murad products i've ever tried i think this would go at the bottom i did not like this i've used a lot of murad products that i really really love i don't think i love the green line i think that's the problem like the like purple line is their hydration line they have a blue line i don't know the the green is supposed to be like the anti-aging line i don't know I didn't love it I didn't like that it was in a pump usually I'm all about the pumps but one pump of this was way too much so I felt like I was always trying to like like accurately like pump the right amount and I don't know it just it wasn't my favorite product I didn't hate it like I've used bad products this isn't a bad product but $82 no thank you I have too many super goop sunscreens so the first one is the super the super goop glow screen I did get this in the spring I bought one of the little kits from Sephora and this was in it this is half a fluid ounce of the glow screen and this retails for ten dollars and fifty nine cents I liked this I didn't love it so the glow screen is very glowy but but it wasn't moisturizing so I feel like some of the SPFs I've been recently using had been moisturizing SPFs, so I wasn't having to do both steps whereas with this I definitely had to moisturize first it, it was okay it's not a sunscreen I could wear on its own because I literally felt like I would look like the tin man whereas right now I'm using the new bliss sunscreen and it is like the nicest facial facial sunscreen ever I feel like I, I wear it all the time without any makeup it just like looks nice on your skin whereas this is so glowy and I don't know it just if I want a sunscreen if I'm going to get a sunscreen that actually like does something to my skin besides just put white sunscreen on my face I'm going to want it 
to look good without makeup and not necessarily act as a primer for I don't know it just it wasn't for me I can understand why people like it it just wasn't for me then I also I must have gotten this as a free sample from Sephora I guess I also had a sample of this unseen sunscreen this size retails for about six dollars and eighty cents I've used the unseen suns why is it so hard to say unseen sunscreen I've used this one a bunch of times and I like it and I get why people really like it because it doesn't really give any cast but it's like a silicone primer and that's not my ideal kind of primer. I really prefer something moisturizing. So it's not a sunscreen I personally purchase, but I understand why people really like it. It just, it doesn't do what I need it to do. Now I have a lot of moisturizers. One full size and five minis. So, yeah, let's, let's start with the full size. This was what I had been using in the night uh, the last couple months and this is the elf holy hydration face cream this is not the unscented one this is the original this came in a holiday kit i got this past holiday season and i really do like it i still think i prefer the unscented but it's still very similar and it's one of those products where if i felt like my skin was like acting up like i knew this was not the cause of it and that it was like kind of like a constant like safe safe place for me so i really do like this i have at least one or two backups of this like this is this is, I would say, a holy grail to me. I think it's a really good product at a really good price, and I would love to try the new SPF one. Also realizing I didn't say the price. The e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream does retail for $12. It's really a really good price. And again, e.l.f. always has sales, so can't go wrong with it. All right, rapid fire <laughs> of these mini products. And all of these products, I did come out to what the valuation is. So first... I have the Marcel City 24 hour anti-pollution day and night moisturizing emulsion. It came out that this size retails for about $4.09. I did not enjoy this. I'm pretty sure I got this in a birch box. I feel like Marcel was a brand that is a birch box brand. Did not like this. Very, very scented. Like a weird scent, not a fan. Didn't like it. Would not recommend. This part's gonna be rapid fire. Did I ever say that? Okay, next from Pure Lease. I have their Watermelon Energizing Aqua Bomb. This size retails for $4.80. I really like Pure Lease. I think I've tried other things from their watermelon line before. I actually really liked this. It was very, it felt very hydrating. It was more lightweight, but it was still a good amount of hydration, even for being lightweight. Very heavily scented like watermelon, though, if that bothers you. Next from for Say Beauty, I have the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. I This retails for $5.60. And this is like a good, like, again, it's kind of like the e.l.f. How it's just one of those products where you know, like, it's it's safe. It's a safe place. However, the e.l.f. is a lot more affordable than the First Aid Beauty. I'm not against getting this, but if I'm spending my money, I'd rather get the e.l.f. over the First Aid Beauty just because of the price. Next is this teeny tiny milk makeup vegan moisturizer. This size retails for, actually I could not figure it out, so I estimated it a dollar. I estimated a dollar, we're just gonna call it a dollar. I do really like this. It's not my all-time favorite moisturizer. I've talked about it before. I've gone through a full size of this before and I really do like it, but for the price, I don't think it's worth it. Again, because of products like the e.l.f. moisturizer, I just, I can't justify it when it's a moisturizer versus there are other higher end products like treatments and such that I would rather invest my money in over a moisturizer. Okay, the last one I'm pretty sure is not for your face. However, I used it for my face because this is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This retails for a whopping 15 cents. And this size, it was 0.17 ounces. This, I would have not, I would have been able to like moisturize my elbow with this much. So I stood my face, it was totally fine. I'm, I actually would get this. I have a CeraVe moisturizer. It's their anti-itch one that I absolutely love. It's always in my bedroom because I always have itchy legs and I love it. So I would totally get this one too. I really do enjoy CeraVe products. I just haven't gotten this one yet. That was the skincare section. Now the skincare section does not include facial cleansers because I do have that separate. But for this amount, of, for this portion of the skincare section, this month I used up $216.89, bringing the annual total to $573.15. Skincare is expensive, it's crazy. Like I said, I do have facial cleansers separate and I do have two products this month. So the first I did buy from Ulta and this is the Vanilla & Co Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. I did enjoy this. This retails for $19, so it's not the cheapest, but it's also like not that expensive. 
and you usually can get really good deals at Ulta. So honestly, this is a product I would get again. I feel like right now I'm favoring oil cleansers. I just feel like a little goes a long way and I always find that I'm scooping too much out and being like, oh, why did I take so much out? That's my only complaint with it, but that's more of a me thing than the product thing. I really like this, especially because right now I'm using a cleansing balm that I despise from the Ulta Beauty brand. And I kind of miss this. <laughs> But yeah, I really did like this. I'm not against getting it again. This next one, I don't remember where I got this sample from. This is the Skin Fix Foaming Oil Cleanser. This is maybe my fourth or fifth time using a cleanser from Skin Fix, and I just really enjoy their cleansers. I think they're really, really nice. Like, I'm very picky for some reason about cleansers as well, and if one just doesn't work for me, I am not happy about it. This one retails for $4.67, and I would totally buy this. Yeah, I have no complaints about this one at all. And when it says foaming oil cleanser, it does foam. Not a ton, but it does foam a little bit. So my monthly facial cleanser total came to $23.67, bringing my annual total to $102.07. The next category is masks, and I still have not used another mask since my first update, so my total for the year is still $4.13. Now hair care, I have a pretty good amount of full products, so I have three full size, three minis. So I'm gonna just start with the minis because they're all like travel size shampoo and conditioner. So it's two conditioners. Both of these are from Head and Shoulders. This one is the Smooth and Silky, and this is the Moisture Renewal. Both of these retail for $1.99. And I like them both. Honestly, I have used Head and Shoulders a lot throughout my life. I have always kind of suffered with dandruff, but I always, lean towards the shampoos over the conditioners, which is why I kind of had these two still lying around. I probably got these in like um, Target Beauty boxes or something a while ago, and I just never use them because it's not really something I've reached for. They're okay. I've been having a lot of dry and brittleness on my ends lately. Uh, I don't really think that either of these really made a difference with that. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck to use. If you guys have any recommendations for very like dry, dead ends, Feel free to drop those in the comments, but yeah, these were fine. I just, I wanted to use them up. And then I also finished a shampoo. This one also retails for $1.99 and this is the Dove Intensive Repair Shampoo. Honestly, I feel like this may have been like a free sample from Ulta, I don't even remember. I liked this. Honestly, I like Dove products overall. It's just like a brand I don't ever think like, oh yeah, let me get the Dove shampoo. I don't know why, but it was nice. It was a good shampoo and I had no problems with it. All right, now for the full size items. I did finish a full size conditioner. I always finish my conditioners before my shampoos, but this is the Brio Geo Be Gentle, Be Kind, Banana and Coconut Nourishing Conditioner. This retails for $28. It's expensive. It smells absolutely amazing. It is such a good summer scented product. This is my second bottle of this I've used up. I really do like this line from, from Brio Geo, but it's expensive. I don't have a job right now, so it's not my intention to go and repurchase it but maybe someday, maybe someday. I actually saw it on sale at Ulta one day recently and I was like, well, and I restrained myself, but hopefully I can get this again someday because I really do enjoy it. And then I have two dry shampoos here. Both are from Chlorine. Chlorine, somehow I wound up on their PR list and I they sent me a very, very generous package of their products. If you, if I'm getting this up timely, I do have a giveaway that is closing on the 8th sure it's the eighth and there are a couple chlorine products included in the giveaway it's a mystery box but i do have their dry shampoo this is their with nettle oil control and their organic mint pollution exposed hair so i have bought the nettle one before and it is very intense i actually have another one currently open and it is very intense like a little goes a long way if you go overboard it's gonna kind of really gunk up your hair whereas this one their aquatic mint i had never used this before but i feel like it gave a similar effect as this one but it wasn't as like gunky uppy, if that made sense. So I was very surprised. I never even heard of this line before, but I really, really like this. These each retail for $20, so it's not a very cheap brand, but a lot of times, in my experience at least, I've bought the brand on sale at Ulta whenever they have like the brand on sale and you can usually get like half price. But yeah, I definitely was surprised by the Aquatic Mint one and I really liked it. So my hair care empties for the month came out to $73.97 bringing my annual total to $195.15. Now my next category is body care. I do have two empties. The first is a deodorant. This is the Degree Men's Cool Rush deodorant. 
I've been using this one for years and years and years. This retails for about $2.49. I usually have an empty one of these every couple months. I like it. I'm not changing anytime soon. And then I also finished a body wash. This is from Bath & Body Works. And this is their Aromatherapy Lavender and Vanilla Sleep Body Wash. This was actually a gift my mom gave me for Christmas. I have never tried this line from Bath & Body Works, but this is a really good scented product. So this retails for $13.50. And it smelled really good. Like it definitely has that lavendery scent, but something about the vanilla with it makes it a lot less like lavendery. If you know what I mean, I feel like lavender is a very intense scent and the, the vanilla really like toned it down to like the right amount. And I really enjoyed using this. I have currently the Soul Body body wash in my shower right now that I bought and I don't like it as much. I thought I was really gonna like it, but I'm just, I'm not overly impressed. So my total empties for body care this month came out to $15.99, bringing my annual total to $48.29. Now I have teeth care. I did finish a toothpaste this month and I don't know. This is the Colgate Optic White Renewal Toothpaste. This retails for $6.99. I think there was like a coupon at Target. That's why I originally bought it. I'm not that impressed. I'm using a Crest whitening one right now. It's not their like extra 3D white. It's like a different one. I don't know. I'm liking that one the best out of all the whitening toothpaste I've tried so far. I don't see myself getting this one again. So this was $6.99. So my annual total for teeth care empties has been $13.79. Next I have hand soaps. I did finish two foaming Bath & Body Works hand soaps. These both retail for $7.50. Never pay full price. So this first one was actually in mine and Scott's uh, master bathroom and this is the cucumber melon. I don't know if they, did, have they always had cucumber melon or did they bring it back? I honestly bought this because of childhood and I had the body spray when I was in elementary school. Yeah, I, I, I'm a fan, honestly. Cu crisp, crisp cucumber, watery honeydew and juicy cantaloupe. Honestly, I don't want to spray it all over my body anymore, but using it as a hand slip was totally fine and I would get it again. It's nostalgic. This next one is from their aromatherapy line. I really liked this one. This is the Stress Relief Spearmint and Eucalyptus. And yeah, it just has those two scents in it. I really, really liked this. 10 out of 10 would get it again. I don't know if I've ever tried one of their aromatherapy hand soaps before, but between this and that body wash, like I'm sold on the line. <laughs> so my hand soap empties for the month came out to $15, bringing my annual total to $45.28. Now candles, I do have two empties from Bath & Body Works, but actually one of these I used mostly last year and just finished up. So these each retail for $24.50. Never pay full price. And that is Island Margarita. This is maybe my fifth Island Margarita I've ever used. And it's so funny because my mom just bought me another. But this is Sweet Mandarin, Island Mango, and Sea Salt. And I don't think it smells like a margarita, but it definitely has a very like, I don't know, that mandarin mango scent is what it smells like. So I guess if you like mango margaritas, it would smell like a mango margarita. I don't drink mango margaritas, so I don't smell this and smell mango margarita, but I do enjoy this. Like I said, this is like my fourth or fifth one of these. And then this one, I think I bought last year and I just used it now. And this is called You Had Me at Aloha. And this is pink summer berries, juicy orange, and dewy white pearls. And this was like a very, yeah, it's like a, it's like a berry, the pearls. I don't know what pearls are, but it's like a berry, like a berry beachy scent. That's kind of what it smells like to me. I really did like this. I would get it again. So my monthly total empties for this month was $49, bringing my annual candle empties to $245. Never pay full price. Uh, my miscellaneous category, I didn't add anything to, so my total for the year is still $4.99. I've been trying to track how many foil packets I used this year and I used none in May and June. So I've still only used eight in the year of 2021. Not the best, not the best. So my total products used up in the month of May and June came to $470.33, bringing my annual total, so we're halfway through the year, $1,628.82. So we're more than halfway to the $3,000 mark. So we actually might be able to do this. So yeah, this empties isn't just only beauty, like makeup and skincare. Like I do have hand soaps and candles and stuff. So there's a lot more into it, which is why I have a higher goal than if it was just like makeup and skincare, I would not have a $3,000 goal, oh my God. But yeah, this has been really fun. Definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think of any of these products. And if you have any recommendations for my postpartum dying hair.
And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!